Hello, I'm User Friendly's Assistant, and in this video we're going to learn how to make pew sounds. This is a request from one of my patrons, and essentially a pew sound. So this is operator. Just turn the sustain down, decay, and turn the pitch envelope on. Pew sound. This peak here is how high the pewness is going to go. You can sort of hear if you listen really closely. Hear how it's doing that, where it's kind of like doing a second thing after it pews. That's the release. Now, for me, I would say one of the most important things with pew sounds is that there's a relationship with how fast they're happening and the actual decay time. So we'll group the operator. So now we have some macros and bring in an arpeggiator. That doesn't sound right. The reason is because the decay is too long for how fast it's happening. So we'll assign that to macro one and the speed to macro one and also on the pitch envelope the decay of, so the pitch is what's giving it the pew. So now it's too long for how slow it is. So you hit map and come in here and adjust this sort of to taste. And this is really interesting because you can then start to sort of, you know, mess with it and do the wrong thing, for example. So And get different flavors of pews. That's too short. That's pew. And the brilliant thing about macros is now that it's there and you've started assigning things to it, you'll find that once you do a couple, you start to get kind of addicted to it and just everything gets assigned to the macro. So for example, we could do a delay and assign that to the macro. In fact, we'll go the other way. We'll go slow for fast and fast for slow. And then you can, you know, sort of start playing with the other envelopes in here, maybe looping them, whatever else. This can get really, really involved really quickly. Uh, so we'll just leave it right there for the operator. The only other thing I wanted to do was patch it up in VCV rack. Even if you're not familiar with uh, VCV, I think it just kind of helps to see exactly what components are making up the pew sounds. So we have our oscillator here. We'll plug the oscillator into the VCA, the envelope here. So now this envelope is going to open this VCA. And we'll take that out. And then the LFO is like our arpeggiator that's going to trigger too loud. So you could take this same envelope and modulate the pitch. I'm using the FM. If you do volt for octave, volt per octave, it's going to immediately do maximum pewness. I want to adjust how much pewness. So you can do it this way, but ideally you would have two envelopes, one for the VCA and one for the pewness. And this is going to be the beginnings of a kick drum, for example. That's why I think pew sounds are really important. You can do a lot with them. The 
these two controls, so the decay of the amp and the pitch are going to sort of be the, I think, two main things that sort of shape your kick sound. And then we'll modulate the speed with another LFO. And as it goes faster, we'll shorten the decay. We could even do random. So it really goes all over the place. Maximum pew. Magnum pew. And that's pew sounds. Yeah. Thanks for watching.